Welcome in your pools fans. Today we're going to be talking about how to size a gas heater for your swimming pool as well as some of the common options available for you. So the first thing you want to determine is what type of gas you're going to be using to fuel the heater. So it's going to be natural gas or propane. Uh, secondly, you'll want to figure out how quickly you want to heat the pool. So to do this, uh, you just want to determine the square footage of your pool. A typical pool would be like a 16 by 30 pool, or I'm sorry, 16 by 32 pool, which would be roughly 512 square feet. And we have a pretty handy chart on the website which would show a 500 square foot pool using a 250,000 BTU heater is going to heat your pool roughly one and a half degrees per hour. So if you stepped up to a 400,000 BTU heater, you can see the chart would then tell you that it's going to heat your pool at roughly two and a half degrees per hour. So it's going to be you know, quite a bit quicker by going with a larger unit. So you just want to determine, you know, once again, what, what is suitable for you in your application. So if you went to a spa, a lot of times people will also be heating a spa. This is typically done in how long it takes the heater to heat the spa 30 degrees. So on a standard 600 gallon spa, uh, the chart would show a 250,000 BTU heater would uh, it would take 45 minutes to heat that spa. Uh, if you jumped up to 400,000 BTU, it's gonna take roughly 28 minutes. So once again, about half the time. So if you wanna you know, be able to just uh, you know, turn your heater on after work and jump in real, really quickly, you know, maybe it's a good option to uh, go to a larger heater. Uh, the next thing is going to be the gas line. So if you're replacing a, a heater, you want to really take into consideration the gas line. So not people want to jump up to a larger uh, heater, you know, maybe they had a 150,000 BTU heater and now they want to jump up to a 400,000 BTU heater uh, just to you know, heat the pool or spot quicker. But you know, typically by going to a larger heater, you're going to require a larger gas line. So maybe that 150,000 BTU heater had a, you know, half inch gas line. And if you just, you know, bought a 400,000 BTU heater, uh, it may require a one inch gas line and you don't, you're not set up properly. So uh, we do have you know, a lot of the specifications on the uh, website that would tell you, you know, what, uh, what is required for the heater. Um, you're always gonna wanna use a solar blanket uh, when you use a, uh, a heater on your pool. It's something we strongly recommend. Uh, we use the analogy of if you're boiling a pot of water, um, it would be uh, you know like boiling a pot of water without a, a lid on it. Um, the solar blanket would act as your lid, so it's going to just trap all that heat in there. You know all the money that you've spent to uh, heat the pool, you know, your operational costs are going to be saved uh, by using a solar blanket. Really going to cost cut down on the uh, the cost there. Um, there are a couple different options as well when you're looking at purchasing a heater. Um, I'm going to run down those now. Um, one are for our customers that live at you know higher altitudes, you know uh, above 3,000 feet or so. We do have some special heaters that are, are considered high altitude heaters, so you want to take that into consideration. Um, also, some areas of the country require what's called a low NOx heater, which is a low emissions heater. Uh, you know that the local code will require a, a low emissions heat, heater. Uh, also, if you're in a commercial environment, you know maybe a, a hotel pool or a, a condominium, uh, you know sometimes you, you'll be required to use what's called an ASME certified heater. Just going to go through commercial testing, uh, and then lastly, what's becoming you know, more and more popular as uh, salt pools become. Uh, you know, a bigger trend in the market would be a Cooper Nickel heat exchanger. And basically that's just going to hold up really well to, uh, you know, saltwater environments. So if you have a saltwater pool, you might consider one of our uh, Cooper, Cooper Nickel heaters. So I hope this was informative to you and helps you make the right choice when you're looking at purchasing your pool or spa heater. If you have any questions, you can give us a call toll free at 877-372-6038 or you can visit us online at www.neopools.com.